Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys know every single Thursday I'm doing a top five collaboration video with my best friend Danny from Coffee Break with Danny. I will link her channel below. This week we are tackling something that we have been getting a lot of requests for, so it's about time we jumped up. We're doing uh, primers concealers, foundations, and powders. So we figured we would just clump them all in together. So this isn't technically a top five. For me, it's gonna be more like a top 10 because I tried to get about like two from each, from each product, if that makes sense. In case you guys didn't know, we are doing this collaboration because both of us have very, very different skin tones, skin types, coloring. Danny has a neutral to warm undertones. I am a cool undertone. She has a normal skin. I have oily skin. Some things that look away on her look a different way on me. We just have different likes and dislikes. We have a whole series going on right now. I'm going to link the playlist in the description bar for you guys in case you want to check out some of our previous videos. Maybe you can catch up. But without further ado, I'm going to talk about my choices for skin. Well, let's get going. So I'm going to start with primers because that makes the most sense. I'm going to talk about my two favorite primers that I use when I use primers. Now, I have to be completely honest, I don't necessarily use primer every single day. I use it randomly, but I do have two that I gravitate towards when I do use them. The first I'm going to talk about is this Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. This is the Blur and Smooth formula. This has a lotion consistency. This makes my skin look so fabulous and I love it. I don't necessarily get longevity of my face makeup when I use this. I do like the way my my makeup applies. I concentrate this in the center of my face where I do have large pores in my T-zone, especially right here in my under eye area, like right here on the sides of my nose and on my chin. So this is a great drugstore primer. This is definitely worth the cost. I think it was about $10, I'm not sure. Uh, all the products that I'm going to talk about are linked below as always. So this is the best drugstore primer that has ever been. I love this junk. I don't know why I'm calling it junk because it's good. So it kind of looks like this. I'll show you guys. It's like, see, just like a, it looks like a lotion. That's it. Okay. All right. The other primer that I'm a huge, huge fan of is Bare Minerals Prime Time. This is a foundation primer. This is in the oil control formula. Now, I do get oily in the T-zone, and this saves the day. I put this all over the center of my face, and it helps control the oil, the oil from breaking down my foundation. Now, it puts like a barrier in between your skin and the foundation, and it just, it keeps the oil from just like... Uh, it will happen eventually. I mean, that's part of life, and that's what happens with foundation when you have oily skin. You guys know this. You can powder all you want, but eventually the oil wins. You know what I mean? Like, you may win the battle, but the oil is going to win the war. You know? It's going to... <sighs> You guys get it. All right, I use this a lot when I'm using serum foundations, which I'm gonna talk about soon, and this helps a lot mattify my skin. Now, I don't like my skin to be super mattified underneath my foundation, because then it almost has a chalky, uh, like I feel like I get a chalky application, which drives me banana sandwich. I hate that, and when I, my nose has this like weird rebellion against me, and I have a hard time applying foundation to begin with, so if I use something that's mattifying, forget it. Putting foundation on my nose is a nightmare, and I just, so this doesn't do that. It's a great, great primer. I've had this for a year, and I'm, it's still going strong. It's still going strong. That's good. One pump. It's good. Two, two, three. Okay. I'm going to talk about two foundations, and we're going to start drugstore. Oh, this one. This is the great drugstore foundation. Yes, I love it. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluor Touch Foundation, and this is a serum foundation. I, I really uber love this. My color is in the color, it's like porcelain or something. Porcelain, porcelain ivory, and you have to shake it up. It's a liquid, you can hear it in there. It's such, such a beautiful, luxurious bottle, I love that. And the foundation just looks like this. It's it's very, very liquidy and light. I love this. I apply it with a beauty blender. This is a perfect match out of any drugstore foundation I've ever tried in my life. And it's super, super affordable. Um, this one bottle has lasted me about six months and I use it. You know, it's not like I don't use it. It's sitting in my collection. Like I actually use it and it's lasted me that long because you just need like a tiny little drop. When I'm breaking out. I don't use this because I feel like the coverage is so light for me. This, this is my favorite drugstore foundation of ever. Of ever. So, yeah. 
If you're looking for a serum foundation and you can't afford the foundation I'm about to speak about, this is the one to go to. So since I did that little teaser, I'll just tell you right away. My favorite um, high-end foundation is actually the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Now this has gotten a lot of flack here on YouTube. Either you love it, love it or you hate it. A lot of people with dry skin hate this foundation. Like they hate this foundation so much because it clings to dry patches. I personally have never had that issue. When I get acne or pimples or whatever and you get the little dry patches, what I do is exfoliate. I use a hydrating primer or a primer that will kind of cover that acne and then I use this. I've never had issues with it. This is definitely more oily skin friendly than dry skin from what I've heard but all I can do is talk about for myself all you need is one pump maybe two what I do this is the one I used before when I was putting on my foundation you put it on a tin like this you know like a little plate and I use my beauty blender and I pounce my beauty blender on it and then I apply this it's sheer but so much coverage like it's definitely medium coverage and it builds up to full coverage in my opinion. I love this foundation. It looks like skin and it lasts at least six to eight hours on me. I love it. I've never loved a foundation more than this. My heart will break into a bajillion pieces if NARS ever discontinues it. It has just... Oh. Like, I don't even use my Sheer Matte or Sheer Glow foundations anymore from NARS. I don't use my Issa Laurent. I don't use um, my... Um, and my anything, my Laura Mercier, uh, I have all these foundations over there. Like I have a drawer full of foundations, you guys, and this is the only one I use every single day that I'm using high-end foundation. If I'm using drugstore, I use this. If I'm using high-end, I'm using this. So it's one of the two. They're both very, very similar in consistency. They're both serum-y, very light, liquidy foundations. And yes, guys, I love it. Definitely worth the investment, really. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to start with this. This is also by Maybelline Master, uh, Master Conceal, and it is these, these concealers here. I'm showing you both because I have to mix these to get my right consistency, my right coloring. Uh, this is in the color Fair and Light. These concealers are amazing. I mean, oh, they're so good. They have so much coverage, and they're a drugstore. They're so good, you guys. They're thin, but they're not too thin where they're runny, and I can put these on my under eyes without creasing. They're so good. So delicious, and this is what they look like. They're very, very light. They're, they're, just, they're light concealers, and you can spot conceal with them, and you could do them for your under eyes. They're great. I love these. I love these so much, you guys. They're my favorite drugstore concealers, and I feel like... They're just absolutely beautiful. The range kind of sucks, I'm gonna be honest. They do not have a great color range with this. I think there's only a few, I think maybe like five in the color range, which is absolutely lame, if there's even five. Um, I hope Maybelline extends this range. If I'm wrong, my bad, but I believe the last time I bought this, the range was like kind of pitiful, but it's beautiful. Oh, this, yeah. My next concealer is going to be no surprise to anybody. This is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in, what is it, vanilla. I don't know why I had to look. Um, this is my favorite high-end concealer. It is. This I primarily use for my under eyes. It has a doe foot applicator. It is very, very creamy. I love this. This is my perfect shade match. When I'm just going for a regular under eye, not like a brightened under eye, I go for this. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of Chantilly underneath. If I'm using this as well, if I want to do like that whole like bright under eye thing. But this is my perfect skin match. I love vanilla and it just, it looks like natural skin. It covers everything it needs to cover. A lot of people have trouble with this creasing under the un on the under eye area. I don't. I've never had it crease on me. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I do set it obviously with the powder and ugh. This is my third tube of it. This lasts me a good six months. I think it's absolutely stunning and... Yeah. If I'm having trouble with very large zits though, they're not, it's not fabulous for covering large zits. I do have to grab for my next concealer if I've got like the mother, the mother of all mothers like exploding on my face. But for average, like little tiny blemishes, redness, that kind of thing, this covers absolutely beautifully and is just 
my favorite. It's my favorite. My third concealer I'm going to talk about is this. This is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This is the light palette. Uh, I do have, oh, I have a hair in there. That's classy. Uh, this has the cool tones and the warm tones in it. So you've got uh, NW20, NC20, um, NC15, and W15, and then you have two color correctors. You have a yellow and a peach. This palette is dynamite. I do normally go for NW20 for my, my concealer. Um, that is the one that is closest to my skin tone. Sometimes a match between NW20 and NW15. So I do have NW20 actually in a little pot form on its own, but I love this concealer palette. This is the one you go for when you've got like a mother on your face and it, it's, it's about to hatch and like little babies are gonna come out of it. This is the concealer that will cover it. You set it and forget it. It's amazing. I don't go for this under the eyes. This is way too creamy for under the eyes. I feel that this crease is on me like crazy. Some people will carve out their brows with this. I don't. Some people use this as a primer. On your eyes, I definitely don't. This crease is like crazy if you do that. But for zits, this is it. This is the jam. This is the jam if you have zits. You need to cover something, you go for Studio Finish. It's amazing. MAC Studio Finish knocked out of the park. Just psh, knocked it on the park. All right, to finish up the favorite face products, we're going to talk about powder. We're going to talk about powder. I feel like you guys already know where I'm going with this. I just, I feel like I'm not surprising anybody. My, my bra stop it. Shop. Bra is showing that, that, that. You guys know that I'm gonna talk about this, you guys. Favorite powder. This is my favorite powder foundation. This is Serenity Scott Pressed Powder Foundation in Fairest. If you're looking for a full coverage powder foundation, this is the jam. They're amazing. I know it's a little hard for sometimes because they don't have a place you can swatch it on unless you live close to Asheville, North Carolina. But if I know they're being carried in more and more stores across the country. Um, they're just, this powder foundation is just magical. It makes your face look flawless. It adds coverage, but it doesn't make you look cakey or powdery. It's beautiful. My mirror fell out because that's what happens when you abuse things. This powder foundation, it's just so absolutely stunning. And everybody who tries it loves it. The finish is gorgeous. <sighs> I can't say enough. You guys have seen this in my videos dozens and dozens and dozens of times. In my favorites, in my tutorials, I always go for this jam. I have two. I keep one at home, one in my bag. Serenity Scott has expressed a special place in my heart. I love this. But it's not always appropriate when you're looking for zero coverage. So when I'm looking for something with super light coverage, just something translucent, I grab for this. This is the Graftobian Makeup um, Luxe Cashmere HD Setting Powder, and my color is in French Silk. Now, it looks like this. It has a very slight pink tinge to it. They do have different colors. They have the yellow one, the, the translucent one. It's a loose powder, which I find a little problematic because you can't really travel with it, but if you're looking for a light powder to set your makeup, this just gives you such a beautiful, beautiful look to your skin. It looks flawless. It blurs any of the lines in your face. Oh, your pores just, oh, it's great. I don't know if this is good for flash photography though. I haven't tested that out. Um, I've heard that it's not so great. If you if you keep it light and then you bring it down your neck, it's not as bad that if, that if like you set your under eyes because HD is good for filming, not for flash. So, you know, the, the Serenity Scott is good for flash. I don't think you can use this with flash photography. But uh, when am I using flash photography? Like, never. Like, paparazzi is outside my door right now trying to, like, use flash on me and, like, show the world how I set my eyes. Okay, anyway. So, if you guys have a chance, you give this a go. There's so much product in this. I got this in May. I know that this is going to last me for, like, 18 million eons. So good. Graftobian. Mmm. Love it. Love it. Alright, guys. Those were my favorite face products. Primer foundation, concealer, and powder. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have favorite products that I haven't mentioned in this video, I'd love to hear from you guys. Tell me what your favorite products are in the comment section below. Don't forget to head over to a Danny channel and check out her favorite face products. I don't actually know what she's going to choose, so I'm very excited to see that myself. Thank you so 
much to everybody that's been supporting this series. We've been having so much fun. If you like this video, then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.